Hey, what is up, guys? Guillaume here for Tom Men's Guitars and Basses at NAM24 with Mr. Rabia Massad. Howdy. How are you doing, man? I'm good. I'm, I'm all right. I'm actually managing so far so good. good. I, f I, feel, I feel the same, and it's nice to be in the, the peace and quiet for a little bit. Thank you to Ernie Ball. Very, yeah, very much. Really, really chill in here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'm vibing it. We're vibing. It's going to be a good video. We're going to talk about the, uh, the, <laughs> the piece de resistance, dare I say. <laughs> Can you run us through the process of what that collaboration with Ernie Ball Music Man has been like? How involved were you in the process of designing that guitar? Mm -hmm. And maybe just give us a little taste of it? I can um, do that. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, firstly, it's just kind of surreal to be doing this, but I'm hugely grateful and very proud. Didn't you just say hi to John Petrucci on your way in? Yeah, I did, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was well cool. <laughs> like, I just became a huge fanboy. Yeah. And I was like chatting to him for a minute, and I was like, I'm really sorry, can I take a picture? <laughs> so like, I had to break character for a second. I was trying to be all cool. Um, but anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, the process has been really cool. I sort of... It started, the design process for this really started last April. Mm -hmm. uh, so just before I arrived at NAMM yeah. last year, yeah. the, when it was in April, mm -hmm. um, the, the idea was to sort of announce that I joined Music Man, Ernie Ball at that point, um, which sort of became the thing earlier that year, sort of end of January, January yeah. early February. So yeah. it was all kind of moving quite quick. And then I went to San Luis Obispo to the, to the HQ mm -hmm. and to sort of meet Brian and meet the team and all that kind of stuff. And they sort of surprised me with a prototype, which was amazing. Um, so it was kind of a very basic reiteration of what it was going to become in the sense it was like a stock body with a, a neck with like a custom carb at the time that had yeah. been done by hand. Um, it had my bare knuckles in it, but it also had this, like they'd done this by hand as well. So Drew had really tried to get as much as he could out of the sort of stock model and things right. like that. Um, so that was amazing. And then I had time to play that, go on tour with that, which was cool. And then we had a bunch of like FaceTimes about, you know, what is it that you'd want to change? Like, how can you modify it to suit your needs more kind of thing? Yeah. So the first thing was like I said, don't change the neck. It's perfect. Yeah. Cause he'd taken like really? a like first prototype. Yeah. He took like a, like this the chunky neck mm -hmm. from I'm not quite sure what the model of the guitar was that he'd taken it from, but he'd done this by hand and he'd done the, the carve on the back. So it's slightly thicker here, slightly thinner up here, but it's very subtle. Um, and I loved that. I just thought it was really cool. So that was like, keep that the same. But then things like, you know, adding this um, carve in the, for your arm, because mm -hmm. I found that on tour, like the slightly harder edge, like it would be say here, but down there, was starting to make my arm tender after a few few shows I feel that I was like I'm weak I need I need more of a nice slopey boy there I wanted to change the bridge out because mm -hmm. the saber bridge is it's like a big chamfered piece of metal here it's like quite a lot bigger. yeah yeah right um which is cool but for me I found that you know like playing live my I get quite sweaty mm -hmm. my hand would sort of slide a lot on that metal plate yeah. on top it's bigger surface area and I really like the bridge from the JP 15 so I asked them if we could modify that. Um, so this is based on that bridge, but it's been right. redesigned for this guitar, so right. to speak. So this is inspired by that JP15 bridge, but two point trim that sits against the body, but you can put a whammy bar on and dip it. And I've, I've been asked a bunch actually about like, you know, you don't really, I don't see using whammy bars that often kind of thing, mm. but I actually think it's, there's a tonal application to having the trim. hundred percent. Which I, always played guitars with trims, yeah. you know, so whether it's been a Floyd Rose or, you know, Fender, you know, yeah, like yeah. whatever, I've always had a trim, so I'm just used to that. So there was that, we added the donut inlays. Nice. I'm not really an inlay kind of guy personally, but like when they were saying that, you know, it'd be really cool to have them. And I was like, if I could choose any inlays, it would be something like a donut inlay. So yeah. they made these, which I think are really cool. Yeah, they got that nice, like, minimalistic sort of, yeah. sort of thing, and they, they just look classy. That's kind of the thing. I've always thought they look cool on other guitars, so I was like, I'd love that. And then we added the loom inlay side dots, because, like, during a gig and stuff, you know, like, when the lights go down, you're like, I have no idea where my hand is right now. <laughs> this is a problem. <laughs> when the lights come on, I might be in the complete wrong place. Yeah, yeah. That's happened to me before. So, so the loom inlay works really well. 
What else? I guess obviously the bare knuckles. Um, we added a push push on the tone pot. Mm -hmm. So you've got like, and I'll go through some tones in a minute, but you know, you've obviously got the hum both humbuckers, both humbuckers in the middle, sorry, bridge, neck, yeah, yeah, yeah. both in the middle. You have your like outer coil variation, inner coil variation. But yeah, it's great to have the split yeah. on the bridge and the neck exclusively because these pickups were designed to, to have a good split coil sound as well. And I guess the other really important thing about this was the heel joint. So mm -hmm. the heel was something that I found on the stock saber, it's, it's quite, quite chunky yeah, yeah. and my, I've got bit I've got big hands so I found that playing up here it became quite cumbersome for me to, to do stuff on with lead um, so I said can we can we bring this down so so the first port of call was to to add this yeah. so if you're in that sort of position it's mm -hmm. it's less in the way um, and then on top of that they added the big carve along there and re recessed this and um, we did a few iterations of that and I kept pushing for it to be smaller and smaller and smaller. Until the last time I was like, oh, I don't know if we can go any smaller. I'm like, please, come on, just try, <laughs> just try. And come on, but just Drew, a little more, yeah, just a yeah. little more. <laughs> Drew's awesome though. And he was like, yeah, I'll give it a go. And, yeah. and then obviously he made it work. And it's funny because the prototype before this, it's that slightly bigger, it's still recessed, but slightly less. Yeah. And there's a lick that I play on one of the tunes that I've performed that I kept fluffing with that guitar oh, yeah. when I was rehearsing before I was flying here. Right. And then I picked these up the day before the show and played the lick for per first time. So whatever tiny difference it is, it, makes a it really does yeah. though. And I was like, that's really impressive. Yeah. No idea. Um, and then the colors, this is the Vile Blood. Yeah, you like Bloodborne, don't yeah, you? Yeah, Bloodborne and uh, Elden Ring, was it? Yeah, yeah, Bloodborne is uh, my favorite game of all time in space. I hate how much I like the game but I, I also hate it yeah. a little bit. It's uh, yeah, I love it so much, but I know what you mean. It's also <laughs> rage, and, rage inducing. But yeah, so Vile Blood was the inspiration behind the color. It's just like a translucent burst with this deep red in it that I just, I just really like it. It looks mean without necessarily being over the top aggressive. You need the full makeup to play that guitar. Yeah, it's not too metal, Yeah, is it? But, uh, but it is, I, I know what you mean. It's a little bit mean but it's not like mm. pigeonholed metal guitar. Right, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You don't need to wear the Kiss makeup. <laughs> but yeah, man, like I'm just super happy with it. I really like the neck profile. Um, we made a, the, the decision near the end was to actually do Bird's Eye Maple with this in Ebony, because yeah. originally it was Flame Maple. Yeah. But we changed it, and I think it's a lot better, personally, for me. I mean, it's it still I, it still feels special. Like as much as I love flame maple and flame necks, like they look awesome, they feel great, but they've been done a lot. While well, no those guys, right? yeah, exactly. Well, those like it still looks like oh wow, that's different. You know? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. That. And it's just cool how different each piece of wood is as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, and they just build really good guitars. Yeah, like they're always just really good quality. Like the neck rolled edges and stuff, yeah. so it was good. No, I, I picked up the one that was on the show uh, floor, yeah. room, showroom floor? Yeah. English? Like yeah, I did. Like yeah. the neck profile you is like... You don't have to say that. Mm -hmm. You don't have to say that. No, 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 no. I haven't plugged it in, so I'm not going to talk about like <laughs> the sound yeah. on its own, but like what I did feel was the neck. And like my first reaction was, uh, oh yeah, it's, it's a music man. Like it, it wasn't too far out from what I knew from Music Man. It's like it's one of those guitar brands. I'll just pick the guitars. Like oh yeah, that's that. Yeah. You know, and like that's not too far out from it. But at the same time, yeah, being a little different, it feels a little chunky at the uh, at the top. I I I can vouch for the neck, for the fretwork, and the rolled edges. The sound, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, good. Appreciate the honesty. Um, but yeah, so I guess I could show you a couple of tones. Yes, please. Um, so. Yeah, bridge pickup. You could split that down.
This is like a spanky oh, yeah, man. kind of thing. Um, so that's cool. Position two is that more of a chimey vibe. You know, like it reminds me of a Telecaster in a way. In a middle, po middle position mm, thing. Yeah, bit, that yeah. bell kind of yeah. chimes thing to it. And both together, same kind of thing, but thicker. Just a different flower. I'll take the compressor off. Different, yeah. different flavor. Slightly different, but it's in a similar vein. Mm. And then the neck. It's got that spank. Yeah, I've got no right to sound like that. <laughs> what are you doing? So that's the the intention was as much versatility as possible, oh, oh, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. And again, it's different, you know, like it doesn't sound like a single call guitar, but at the same time, it's reminiscent of that, and you can certainly yeah. get that vibe, and it's get it's a, got its own thing. Going 100%. On. Like, you get away with it by just the way it inspires a different type of playing as well. Like mm -hmm. the second you split that pickup, your hand, your right hand just went different. Like it just <laughs> hit different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I love that about about the pickups as well, and just having that. And the cool thing inside is that there's like a PCB. Mm -hmm circuit board in there, yeah. which is kind of wild. Well, first time I saw it, I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> but it's uh, it's cool because it means that they can do cool modifications to the wiring. Like, I guess traditional wiring uh, would be that if you were to split that down, these three sounds would all sound the same. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. How, I'm not technical. To, to an extent. Yeah. yeah, like like because you're splitting the pickups down, it means the three middle positions would just kind of be yeah. redundant at that yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas with this guitar, because of that, yeah. the, the wiring inside, you can set that and forget it. You know, you can split mm -hmm. the neck and the bridge down exclusively, whereas these three, you still retain the three different voicings. That's really cool. So, yeah, it's really, really nice. And I, I just love a push-push. It like, is satisfying, isn't it? It's so much better. <laughs> like, I've played gigs where it's been one of the push-pulls, yeah. and the number of times that I've missed it and slipped mm -hmm. off because, you yeah. know, it requires a bit... I've just done it wrong and then yeah, just yeah. messed up the solo or whatever. Whereas now you can, in the heat of the moment, just yeah, sabong, yeah. bosh, nice. bosh. <laughs> they do a different sound when it's push and push. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, that's a cool man. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, it's got the locking tuners, which yeah. are great. Yeah. I'm you, just uh, really happy with it. I'm happy you're happy. Thanks, man. Can you tease a little bit of what might be next for you and Music Man then? I mean... There's nothing really to tease at this stage. Mm. I guess like, you know, we've, we've chatted a little bit about other stuff, but you know, like I use an Axis baritone yeah. as well, which I really love. Um, I play that a lot and that's it was really cool. And I have a Cutlass yeah. with my bare knuckle single calls in as well. Mm -hmm. And I got like a custom silver burst finished on both of those. So I don't know, maybe there'll be discussions in the future. Now I'm 20, now 2025, yeah. five signature models. Oh, yeah. We imagine? need them. I want the, the baritone. Whole is just my, my stuff there. <laughs> so, yeah. John Petru who? Yeah. Pahucci? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm so I'm so happy for you, man. You deserve everything that's coming for you. And, and like this is absolutely epic. Thank you very much. Yeah. I really appreciate that because we've known each other a long time. It's been a while, eh? Yeah, it's been yeah. a fair few times. <laughs> popped over to see you guys in yeah. different capacities and it's yeah. always been a good laugh. So I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. Uh, well, yeah, very happy. You guys check out the links in the description. We'll put as much of everything used today uh, in there. If you need more information, hit the comment section. We'll be there. We'll do our best to answer said questions. Uh, thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you to Ernieball Music Man for the little moment of peace and quiet I just got. <laughs> it was <Yeah>. lovely. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.